Hey everyone, we've gotten a bunch of questions about how to properly set up a YouTube account for uh, language learning. YouTube is a great tool to find language immersion content. It's something that I use heavily and a lot of members of our community use. And one of the things that makes it so powerful is its recommendation engine. But you have to be careful about how you tell the recommendation engine what you want, because if you try to mix it with your normal YouTube account, you're going to get a mix of English and Spanish or whatever target language you want, and it's not optimized. So YouTube actually has a, a way to do this so that it's clean and you can completely separate your immersion content from your normal YouTube. So I'm just going to walk through the process of setting that up today. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into your YouTube account using any Google account. You can see that I've already logged into YouTube uh, using my personal account. When I go to switch account, you can see that I'm logged in under my personal email address. It's important to note, do not click add account. That's going to ask you to log in with another Google account. What you actually need to do is look at view all channels and then create a new channel. I will create a Spanish channel, accept the terms and conditions, click create. And now I have a brand new channel. So this is something that I can use to specifically target Spanish immersion content. So if we go back to home, you can see everything is still in English. So the next step is we need to teach YouTube that we want to see things in Spanish. So the easiest way to do that is to start searching for things that you want to watch uh, in Spanish or whatever your target language is. So if I want to watch some educational videos, um, I like science and stuff, then we can do Ciencia. Um, and it's easiest to use something like Google Translate, or if you have a, a bilingual dictionary, just look up some words that you like and search for them in YouTube. And then scrolling down, we want to find things that are in our target language. Uh, now, YouTube can be kind of confusing here because it will automatically translate a lot of the titles and whatnot, so you're not actually sure if the content is in Spanish or not. So it's important to listen to a few seconds of it just to make sure it actually is. So this one is. And so there's two tools that we have at our disposal to tell YouTube that we want to see Spanish content. One is the like button, that's easy enough, and the other is the subscribe button. So if you subscribe, then uh, this channel will start to be presented to you on the home screen. So let's go back and check out a couple other science videos. 10 places science can't explain. So there's another one. Uh, I'll do the same thing, subscribe, like. So now when we go back to our home screen, uh, you'll see some of these things in Spanish that we have liked or subscribed to. Uh, and you can keep doing, going down this route and getting more and more content into your home screen. The next piece of the puzzle is we need to tell YouTube what we don't want to see. So that's anything in English. So we have two tools for that. One is not interested and the other is don't recommend this channel. Both of them work. I usually do don't recommend this channel just because most of the time the channel is in a single language, it's in English, so canceling the whole channel is, is your best bet to just making sure it doesn't appear. So we'll do that. Uh, Texone was in Spanish. Uh, this one looks like it's in English. That's in Spanish. That's in English. And so the difference between not interested and don't recommend this channel is that not interested says uh, I'm not interested in this type of content, whereas don't recommend this channel says don't show me any of the videos on this channel. So don't recommend this channel is, is likely the one that you want to click most of the time. So another good way to find content is to see what's popular in a, a target country where they speak your language. So the way that you do that is to go to the Explore tab over on the left side. Right now, mine is set to the United States, so these are things that are popular in the US at the moment. If you go up to your profile, down to location, and set it to a Spanish-speaking country, uh, let's say Costa Rica, we can see what's popular in Costa Rica. Now, some of the content is going to be in English because people speak English all over the world and those videos interest people, but uh, you'll start to see some interesting popular channels that uh, are popular in that country, and that can help you identify and find new content. So we'll go again and see Mexico 
and you can see that there this channel is in Spanish and it was popular both in Costa Rica and Mexico so that might be a good channel to subscribe to. That's the basics of setting up a YouTube channel. If you have any questions then definitely you know add them in the comments below but also join our refold language community. Uh, we have communities for dozens of languages and we've started to compile lists of great YouTubers uh, organized by category. And if you are looking for something in particular and you want recommendations, uh, our community is a great place to get those recommendations and to ask those questions. So we'll see you on Discord.